good morning student today we will discuss about 11th standard as well as uh, 12th standard those who are uh, uh, expecting the neat exam we will discuss about the important uh, topic today before uh, go to the topic those who are not uh, subscribe our uh, tv channel immediately you have to subscribe and also recommend uh, to others those who are the uh, expectant of uh, neat exam come to our video plant morphology plant morphology means <clears throat> first of all you have to know what is morphology morphology means the external structure of the plant it's called morphology plant morphology means the plant vegetative part external view it's going to be described that is called a plant morphology so in this plant we have two section one is vegetative part another one is reproductive part so here the plant as vegetative part means a root stem leaves and the flower inflorescences fruit seed these and all vegetative part the vegetative part it's going to be uh, divided into two the root stem leaves these and all it's going to be explained with the uh, uh, help of external view that is called vegetative morphology another one is the flower and inflorescences fruit seed it's going to be described as reproductive morphology next vegetative morphology understand by with the help of three category one is habit habit means characters second one habitat living place third one is life span means the duration of the plant the lifetime it's going to be classified so these uh, three category we will analyze the vegetative morphology so next based on the habitat plants are classified into first one is herb second one is shrub third one is climbers climber means veins and fourth one is trees so habit habit means is the character according to the growing character the all the plants are classified into four category one is herb another one is shrub third one is climbers the climbers otherwise called vines and fourth one is woody plants is called trees first of all we take habit habit in the habit first one is herbs herbs means what the soft stemmed plants with less wood or no woods wood means the wood uh, the hardest portion of the plant is called wood that type of plant is called herb is a very smallest plant and the lifetime also very short so example pilandus amaras and cleome viscosa so the pilandus amaras you have the see the diagram this is kiranelli pilandus amaras the botanical name so according to the life duration of the herbs again classified into uh, four category first one is annuals second one is biennials third one is perennial and uh, the perennial also the geophytes this is very important word geophytes uh, geo means earth under the ground so the the reproduction of the plant is going to be produced with the help of underground stem that is called geophytes example pulp palm rhizome tubers tubers means potato and rhizomes uh, cook, uh, curcum curcum 
in this and all it's going to be under the uh, stem uh, of the earth so keep it in your mind herbs are classified into four category annuals biennials perennials and uh, geophytes according to the habit second category shrubs so uh, shrubs are perennial woody plants with the several main stems this is a very important the uh, bushy plants they have they have not a main stem so many branches is there so the woody plants with the several main stems so example hibiscus rosa sinensis is the best example for the shrubs third category climbers climbers otherwise called vine so an elongated weak stem so it is a, not a woody plant the plant is going to be need one support with the support they are growing that is called a vine so maybe annual perennial herbaceous woody so all the climbers may be a annual annual means within only one year it's going to be complete their life cycle that is called annual perennial means so many years is going to be uh, produced so with the help of rhizome and herbaceous means herb means uh, a smallest plant and woody sometimes is woody maybe so woody means uh, the strong wood is there but without uh, uh, climb uh, without support they are not able to stand alone so in this regard one one more uh, technical term is there liana so is a vine that is uh, perennial and woody perennial means uh, so many years they, they lived uh, with the supporters so uh, example ventilago uh, endada and bougainvillea bougainvillea is a kagidapus uh, it is a vine actually woody vine so the these and all uh, comes under the liana liana means woody climber is called liana third uh, finished and fourth uh, trees this is very important trees uh, according to the habit tree is a main uh, character a tree is a shout tall perennial woody plant so shout means uh, biggest tall highest perennial several years and woody plant a uh, biggest trunk is there in this uh, type of plants we can see that uh, trunk trunk means one main stem and many lateral branches may be there that is uh, trunk trunk a uh, biggest uh, middle stem is there uh, from the middle stem so many uh, branches are arises that is called a trunk so example mango sapota jock fig teak these and all uh, biggest uh, trunk uh, containing plant another one is cardex cardex means the trunk remain unbranched so unbranched means here yeah, only one stem it's go, uh, grow uh, upward direction that is called caudex so example see that palmyra so uh, panaimaram is a best example tennai cocos nucifera is a best example for this so trunk example we uh, give mango tree so many branches is there the uh, trunk is there manjipera indica this is a botanical name plant habitat next category plant habitat plants growing place according to the plants uh, uh, which place is going to be grow according to to that uh, property we are uh, classified the uh, plants in uh, one is terrestrial plant another one is aquatic plant so uh, two category is there uh, the land plants is a terrestrial plant the water plant is a aquatic plant so uh, terrestrial uh, means the plants growing on land so you see that so many type of uh, land plants is there one is mesopites pite means uh, plants meso means middle there is no scarcity of water there is no plenty of water in middle place uh, the uh, surplus amount of uh, water is uh, required the type of plant is called a mesopite so here the growing in soil with the sufficient water 
so azadi recta indica is a example azadi recta indica is a neem plant so it is a mesopite example mesopite see the picture another one is zero pite zero means there is no water there, there is no plenty of water pite means plant so here growing on dry habitat dry means uh, desert maybe so uh, less amount of water is uh, sources is there there and uh, example opensia so opensia sapati gali uh, this is a uh, example see that picture another one is samopites samopites means growing on sand it is a river bed uh, some plants is there or uh, seashore some plants are growing in the sand that is called uh, samopites so ipomia pescapire this is an example uh, see your uh, book there yeah, there is a picture and uh, uh, lithopite litho means growing on a rock litho means rock pite means plant so example algae lichen ficus so these and all uh, uh, example of uh, uh, lithopites second category aquatic plant aquatic means hydropites hydro means wa water pite means plant so the plants which are uh, take place in uh, water for living that is called hydropites the plant growing on water in the environment that is called uh, aquatic plants so aquatic plants are also classified into four category uh, five category free floating so the growing on water surface some uh, plants are uh, uh, growing on surface of the water that is called uh, icornia is the example see that picture icornia and uh, submerged so uh, the growing completely under the water the plant uh, which are uh, take place inside the water that is called uh, submerged plant example hydrilla and uh, third one is emergent plant emergent plant means the root and stem anchored to the substrate anchored to the substrate means the root and stem inside the soil under the water and aerial shoot above the water so uh, shoot means uh, stem it's uh, above the water is seen stem and root under the uh, ground and uh, uh, shoot above the uh, water that is called uh, limnophyton and typha this is a uh, emergent two category is going to be involved in this aerial part as well as aquatic part and soil part is involved in this emergent plant floating leaved floating leaved means that the leaves are floated on the surface of the water anchored at the bottom but floating leaves so anchored in bottom means the root are penetrated inside the soil and leaves and flowers are floating on the surface of the water that is called nolumbo that is a lotus example and mangroves so this is another very good example the mangroves means the marshy places so growing marshy saline water saline water means salty water so the uh, kaiveli so the backwater areas that type of uh, plants is going to be take place to uh, occupy the habitat that is uh, example Avi avicinia and rhizobora hey, this is very important keep it in your mind one more question they I will ask rhizobora and avicinia they produce a uh, nematopos or uh, uh, respiratory roots are uh, arising in these two uh, type of plants so next <clears throat> according to the life span life uh, span means the life duration of the uh, plant from the uh, seed to uh, dead, uh, dead so that is called a life span so according to the life span uh, three type of uh, uh, category is going to be classified that is one is annual annual means another other name is called a theropite are epimerals epimerals means so several years or one years so peas maize watermelon rice the, these type of plants is going to be complete their life cycle is uh, one year that is called a uh, annual plants biennial by means two annual means two years 
to complete their life cycle that is called a biennial plants complete the life cycle within two session the first year is going to be vegetative uh, part is going to be grow second year uh, 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 end they produce a uh, flower as well as fruit seed like that so example onion carrot radish these are all biennial plant perennial plants plants grow for many years keep it in your mind perennial very important bird perennial means many years is going to be uh, grow as well as every year it's going to be produce your seeds and the fruits etc that is uh, polycarpic so monocarpic so several years is going to be lived every year is going to be produce a fruits that is called polycarpic poly means several year carpic means fruit mono means a single only one year only one time carpic means fruit only one time that life cycle is going to be produce a fruit that is called monocarpic plants so example mango bamboo mango is a polycarpic example bamboo is a monocarpic example so this is and all uh, uh, examples here the peas is a annual and uh, uh, radish is a biennial these two is a uh, perennial plants part of a flowering plants this is very important if you take the full plant so we uh, we will uh, see that uh, diagram this is angiosperm angiosperm means it's going to be produce a seed within a cover that is called angiosperm and also flowering plants is called angiosperm it is otherwise called magnoliophytes magnoliophytes means seed producing plants is called magnoliophytes so here uh, two portion is there underground portion aerial portion the aerial portion they have the stem and uh, we, uh, node inter node and uh, leaf the leaf blade is there and uh, petiole petiole means the stalk of the leaves is called a petiole and uh, epical bud uh, uh, term terminal bud also and uh, between uh, uh, stem and, uh, and the petiole they have the angle that is called axillary bud so these and all uh, above the uh, soil that is called the aerial part of the plant that is uh, consist of shoot system below the soil we have two uh, area that is one is a primary root the lateral root primary root arise from radical so this and all uh, uh, comprises the uh, root system so this is a uh, part of the flowering plant if you uh, ask the question draw the flowering plants parts means you have to uh, draw the diagram and uh, label the parts second uh, we will uh, discuss root system root system arise from radical radical means we, within a seed we have one axil uh, from the axil below the portion it's going to be produce a root that is called a radical above the portion is a plumble that is going to be produced as a stem so the root system arise from the radical is a one mark question so what are the character of the root we will see point out here descending portion so ascending descending is there ascending means uh, uh, from the smallest to biggest uh, above the soil that is called ascending descending portion means uh, uh, upper to lower it is called descending portion root is a descending order descendingly it's grow and non green color see that the root always brown in color there is no chlorophyll pigment that's why it is called non green color no node inter node but so here there is no node there is no inter node there is no bud there is no leaves so these are all uh, uh, root character root hairs present see that root hair so many root hairs is there uh, in secondarily uh, that is very important point to keep it in your mind all the roots are not absorbing water 
the root itself root system itself they have special structure that is called root air so the root air alone it's going to be absorbed the water and the minerals keep it in your mind very important point root air present that is a absorb of water and minerals and this is positive geotropic positive geotropic means geo means earth and positive means above the soil it's going to be grow that is a uh, positive geotropic and negatively phototropic phototropic means uh, po negatively phototropic uh, photo means light against the light the root are going to be grow that is called uh, negative phototropic in nature regions of root if you take the tap root system clearly understand they have uh, four uh, section or region is there so that is one is um, merismatic zone see here the root tip they have special type of uh, cells that is called merismatic cells merismatic cells means it, the cell is going to be divide 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 and produce new cells always so that capacity is called a uh, uh, merismatic cells so that type of region is called uh, is called merismatic zones here region of cell division this is called a merismatic zone second one is zone of elongation here a smallest uh, size of the cell only is going to be produced that uh, cell is going to be attain the full structure that region is called a uh, region of cell elongation so here only the full structure of the cell is obtained so next region zone of maturation uh, uh, above the zone they have the fully structured and uh, capable of uh, obtaining work cells is there in this area that is called a region of cell maturation so this uh, three region is there and below the merismatic region one uh, cap like structure is there it is a thimble cell like that a thimble like cell is there to protect the uh, tip of the root so to uh, avoid breaking the youngest or tender portion of the root end that is a root cap very, very important uh, keep it in your mind type of roots here uh, two type of roots is the tap root system and fibrous root system and the uh, root arise from the radical the main axis is growing always secondary root are arises from the uh, main axis that is called a tap root system another one is the another one uh, plant is there the radical it's going to be produced primary root that root is short lived uh, again after that uh, from the end of the stem or base of the stem so many branch uh, so many uh, fibrous like uh, rootlet or arises from the base of the stem that is called a fibrous root this is the characteristic feature of the dicot plant this is a characteristic features of the monocot plant next type of root advantageous root system advantage means the special so they, they have the specific main function of the root apart from the main function and the root is going to be uh, um, perform the other function that is called advantageous root for advantageous purpose various areas it's going to be produce a root that is called the advantageous root root developing from any part of the plant other than the radical this is very important keep it in your mind root means it's arise from only the radical but some plants the node internode leaf other areas also is going to be produce a root that type of root is called a advantageous root example fiber nigram fiber nigram milagu milagu the plant la pathina node la irund neriya plant vande produce pannum so this is called uh, advantageous root fibrous root lateral root arise from various region of the plant body example oryza sativa and uh, this is a uh, uh, beetle or a fiber nigram 
this is uh, two example for the advantageous root functions of the roots the two function is that one is primary function the primary function what are the primary function of the root one is absorption water and minerals from the soil this is main function of the root second one is help to anchor the plant in the soil anchor means is going to be support the plant must be uh, pulled or anchored uh, straight away that is anchor and uh, these are all uh, main function or primary function secondary function and uh, uh, so many secondary function is there holding and uh, storaging like that additional function other than the above so that is called modification according to the additional function the root are modified uh, their original shape and structure that is called advantageous function see the root modification the root modification heading tap root modification advantageous root modification two type of uh, modification is there if you take that tap root modification uh, one, uh, one is storage modification another one is breathing root see the storage means uh, conical type of uh, structure is going to be stored the food and a fusiform structure is going to, going to uh, store the food and in a form it is a structure I, I, uh, another one is breathing root already told uh, the Abyssinia and Rhizopora marshy plants is going to be produced and the root above the uh, soil it is a very special character this is called a breathing root so marshy places is going to be produced advantageous root means the storage purpose tuberous root fasciculated root nodulous root moniliform root annulated root and mechanical support the prop root stilt root climbing root buttress root and uh, vital function vital function means very important essential life living uh, necessary function the root is take place that is called the vital function epiphytic root foliar root sucking root and the photosynthetic root see that first one is tap root modification so storage root conical root conical shape they see that the conical shape Con conical shape is there uh, Dacus carata it is a botanical name of carrot and the fusiform Rapanus sativus so mullingi it is uh, uh, both the end is somewhat uh, blended and uh, in middle area somewhat uh, extended that is called uh, fusiform Rapanus sativus and the napiform it is a uh, uh, biggest portion in the top and uh, it, uh, tail is that that is called an epiform uh, structure beta vulcaris beetroot breathing root so already told several times special kind of root for the respiration so there is no function of the respiration of root the root is uh, mainly only two function there is uh, uh, here this type of plants is going to be produce a root uh, above the soil in the root they have the pores they have inside minute pores for uh, breathing purpose that is a uh, nematopores nematopores means uh, uh, the respiratory pores is there inside the uh, root that is uh, marshy plants example for abyssinia rhizopora advantageous root modification first one is a storage root tuberous root produced singly or not in clusters so singly they have the uh, produce your tube uh, tuber that is uh, epomia petardus uh, sakkarai valli kedangu example fasciculated root fascicle means the root are cluster from base cluster means so many tubers is going to be produced in the base of the stem that is called a uh, fasciculated root example dahlia ruellia and nodulus root nodules so many node is there inside the tubers that is called the nodulus root so in this type roots are swelling occurs only near the tip near the tip means the stem base that is called uh, so many cluster of uh, 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 tubers is there maranta 
and curcuma amanta so this is the example for nodules root moniliform or beaded root beaded means a bead like structure is present inside the no root that is called moniliform these roots swell at frequent interval frequent interval means here is there here is there here one uh, swelling here one swelling here one swelling so that is uh, uh, frequently uh, is there so interval giving them beaded appearance that is vitis indian spinach annulated root so annual means is spring like root so a series of ring like uh, swelling on their surface example ipacac ipacac so see that the root a spring like structure is there so it is a very uh, important uh, root modification another one is mechanical support so here uh, uh, the branch the root is going to be support the plant for various purpose one is prop root prop means uh, pillar root picus bengaliensis banyan tree is a best example for uh, see that so many roots are arise from the branches and going to be support the branches so and also support this absorbing so second one is stilt root brace root so the saccharum apicinarum here one node between each and every node they have the uh, root like structure fibrous root it's going to be absorb or support the uh, saccharum apicinarum uh, uh, that is karumbu and a uh, climbing root fiber petal see that fiber petal with like so here uh, one uh, between the node they have a root like structure that is it's going to be attached to the supporters so uh, grow for purpose so that is called uh, climbing root buttress root buttress means uh, it is a uh, wood palagai uh, so palagai mari agalagalama so irukku kudiya root ku peru enna sollu buttress root so silk cotton tree it is a bombax so it is a example for the buttress root vital functions already told the vital means very important so um, life processing it's going to be take over the root that is called vital function first one is epiphytic plants epi, epi means above phytic means plants the plants is going to be grow another uh, plant that is called the epiphytic plants in this type of plants they have a special character of tissue that is called the velamen tissue inside the root they have the sponge like tissue is there for absorbing uh, food as well as water from the host plant that is called the velamen tissue the tissue containing the root that is called the velamen root example vanta example vanta here see that this is one trunk uh, another one plant trunk above the trunk they are growing and absorbing the water from the trunk the, this is a velamen tissue sponge like tissue is there um, next example folia root folio means leaves they have the green in color so that is and the root itself is a uh, foli foli means leaf like structure that is called folia leaves the root are produced from the vein or lamina lamina means leaf blade is called lamina of the leaf it is called a folia root the root is arise from the leaves that is called bryophyllum example a bryophyllum example see that bryophyllum it is a katti potal kutti podum so that is uh, in the leaf itself they arise the or root so next sucking or astorial root so it is a very important uh, root keep it in your mind astorial root sucking absorbing root so this type of root penetrate inside the stem of other it's absorb the food material from the xylem and phloem so that is type of a, a parasitic plant this is called a parasitic plants parasite means they absorb the food and uh, food and as well as uh, shelter and also give the disease to the plant that is called a parasite plant example cascuta see that above the plant they have a wire like structure in yellow color 
it's the stem is going to be penetrate inside the another uh, uh, biggest uh, plant so that is called a sucking or astorial root photosynthetic root photosynthetic root uh, or otherwise called a assimilatory root assimilatory root means it's going to be as assigned assigned the food so that is called a assimilatory root epiphytic plant example tinophora see that the tinophora they have the root like structure uh, inside the root like structure they have the green color uh, uh, root is arises that is called the photosynthetic uh, root so uh, this is very important we discussed about the uh, morphology as well as morphological character according to the morphological character so many points we were discussed uh, student must be keep it in your mind and uh, see that video and uh, also we will give the google form for uh, your uh, evaluation purpose that is also must be um, uh, attend the uh, student and uh, what you are getting in the uh, lesson we will see uh, again thank you thank you very much